In this video I'm going to show how do you measure a thermal coupler. As you can see the pipe light is off right now. Um, I turned off the gas right here. Turn it counterclockwise so it's off and off position. After you've detached the thermocoupler, you need a uh, digital multimeter and uh, you want it on DC and your meter needs to be able to read uh, millivolts. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it to the range of millivolts. Um, it will be easier if you have some type of clamps. So I have two types. This first one right here has a uh, hook, as you can see right there. I'm going to connect it. And I'm going to connect this hook all the way to the thermal coupler. The red line goes all the way to the positive. And then the common, the negative, I want to hook, I'm going to use a different type of uh, clamp. So I have an alligator clamp right here hooked up to the negative, the black wire. So this, I'm going to attach it to the end of the thermocoupler right there. So once again, the red, the positive to the copper, and then the negative to the end of the thermocoupler. And then I'm going to turn it to pilot right now. Then I'm going to hold down so I can see my uh, thermocoupler is getting heat from the pilot. And you can see on my digital multimeter it's slowly climbing. It started out at zero millivolts and it's climbing pretty quick actually. And you can see my hand is keep on holding down on the pilot light to give it continuously give it gas because if I let go it will cut off So it looks like it's uh, idling around 23 millivolts, so this thermocoupler is good. And if I release the gas valve, turn it back to off, as you can see because the temperature is dropping, the voltage is dropping too.